Today you're going to learn how to make this simple glitch effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is a cool effect you can apply to your video footage or opening titles like I did for this video. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Cineguac. Let's begin by dragging our two video clips to the timeline. We can just zoom in a little bit. As you can see, I have two clips here, a wide and a close up. So let's find the part where we want our first glitch effect to happen and zoom in as far as we can. Select the razor tool or just hit C on the keyboard and make a cut right there. Then jump ahead maybe four frames or so and make another cut right there. Then with your selection tool, hit Alt, click and drag a duplicate clip to the layer above. Then with the razor tool, make some random cuts throughout and then just delete this frame right here in the center. Head over to the first duplicate frame we just created, and with that layer selected, head up to the effects control panel. Here we can just sort of randomly manipulate the position on both the X and Y axes. Then head down to the opacity settings and change this value to 70%. So now you can see we have this transparent copy right on top of our original clip. Just to sort of smooth it out, we can increase the scale and reposition until it looks good to you. Once you're done, head over to your next duplicate clip and repeat this exact same step. Reposition the X and Y axes, ideally something random and different from the previous frame, drop the opacity, and adjust the scale. Head over to your effects library and search for an effect called arithmetic. You'll find that in the video effects channel subfolder and drag that to your second duplicated clip. With that video clip selected, head back to effects controls and scroll down to your arithmetic settings. Increase the red value until it looks good. So now you can see we have this weird funky effect happening, but we can still glitch it up a little bit more. Head over to your opacity settings and where it says blend mode, drop down this little menu. You can experiment with different opacity settings, but I found that lighter color seems to look the best. And when you play all that through, we now have our first glitch effect. So let's just zoom out here and find a place where we want our next glitch to happen. We're basically just going to repeat this entire process. Just like before, with our razor tool, let's make a random cut here. And we can skip ahead a little more than four frames. This looks pretty good. Then let's just zoom back in here and holding down the alt button, let's click and drag a duplicate to the video layer above. Go back to your razor tool and just chop this up in a very random way and then just delete every other piece. Select the first frame and adjust the X and Y position, set the opacity to 70 and adjust the scale. Move on to the next clip and repeat the exact same process. Change the position, change the opacity and change the scale. Make sure every time you do this, it's a little different from the last time. Again, the whole purpose is to be completely random. And let's just repeat this once more for our third and final clip. Next, let's drag the arithmetic effect to one or two of our duplicated clips. This part should also be random. So let's just drag it to the first and third clips. Select the first one, increase the red value and change the blend mode to lighter color. And then do the exact same thing for the third clip. Increase the red value and change the blend mode. Play that through and we have another glitch. Now, since we have a cut here, sometimes a glitch effect is a cool way to either hide the cut or just make the cut smoother. So let's repeat the same process right here. Let's just zoom in and make a cut at the last frame of our first video clip. And then skip ahead and make a cut several frames into the beginning of our second video clip. Let's select all of these and holding down the Alt button, click and drag a duplicate. Now we can repeat the exact same process we've already done twice before. So go ahead and just randomly chop up these duplicates however you want. I cannot repeat this enough. The key here is to be random. So every time you do this, make sure the position is different. Make sure the number of duplicates and the duration of the duplicates varies from one frame to two frames or even three frames. The more random it is, the more glitchy this will actually look. You get the point. Now, once you know how to do this, you can apply the same exact method to titles. So once you have your title graphic, just randomly change the size, position, opacity, and color, and you'll end up with a super cool glitch effect. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, these tutorials take a long time to put together, so show me some love and hit that subscribe button. I will see you next time.